A local church is working to help families have a safe and comfortable place to enjoy hot meals free of charge all year round. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders tonight takes us to the southwest side of Syracuse where a second Olivet Missionary Baptist Church is trying to fill a void in that community. Situated near Seymour School and Southwest Street in the city of Syracuse is a place that's become a beacon of hope for people in this community. To be a church that's in the heart of the community, with the community in its heart. Second all of its pastor, Cyrus Thornton, says the need is great, not just to transform spirits, but to feed souls. That's why he's working now to revive and eventually expand their community kitchen to offer hot meals and packaged food at no cost to all families. And it's not just for homeless people, but I like to call them the working poor. Um, so it's for anybody. With nothing but convenience stores and no James, which is now boarded up, options for food are limited. It's because we have too many of our grocery stores that are closing for whatever the reason uh, may be. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that people still need food. They still need um, certain items to make it through the day. Thornton wants to fill that void with a special focus on the young people of this neighborhood. Some of the kids who stay in this area when the school is open, that's the only meal they get. Um, and once the school closes, uh, again, the need is great. And so we just want to be that bridge that bridges the gap to, to help everybody. This overlooks the entire kitchen. Yes, this overlooks the entire the entire kitchen. A blueprint to provide help through a full service commercial kitchen. He hopes to turn this fellowship hall, which is now decorated for a fundraising gala to benefit their community kitchen, into a full community center to provide help and hope to those who need it most. We just want to be another link to help somebody, not with a handout, but with a hand up. In Syracuse, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. And once they raise $50,000, they hope to build the community kitchen. If you'd like to learn more or help, head to localesquire.com. That's certainly making good use of uh, some vacant property, Christy, and helping the neighborhood at the same time. Yeah, it's a great need it there. Is.